Red Feather from Grephax. In this Krita video, we will be showing you how to create outer space on your canvas using the raindrop filter. The raindrop filter allows a quick and easy way to do planet deployment as well as adding or subtracting them, depending upon how many you would like. Open Krita, create a new canvas. The first thing we must do is add some color to the canvas. Without color, if you click on the raindrop filter, nothing will happen. So, go to the critic color selector and choose the color you would like to use. I will use blue so as to simulate looking out a spacecraft window of sorts, but you could choose black if you just want a space look. Once this is done in Krita, go to the toolbox and click on the rectangular tool. Place the rectangle on the majority of the canvas. Next, go to the Krita title bar and click on filters. Scroll down to artistic, then scroll down to raindrop filter and click. Once the Krita raindrop filter window appears, make sure you have a check mark in the preview box. Now notice there are a couple of things you can do here. Resize the drops and or do a fisheye adjustment. But for this example, we will just add or remove them. So take a few minutes, if you are following along, and add or take away as many as you would like. Keep in mind, this, like other programs, once you find a credit amount or close to it, you could manually type in the number. Once this is done in Krita, and you think you are happy with the amount, click OK. Now it is time to decide what colors our planets shall be. There are a couple of ways this could be accomplished, but I will stay with the basics. Go to the Krita Color Picker and select the color or first color if you are using more than one as we are doing. Then go to the Krita toolbox and click on the Krita bucket fill tool. Once this is done, go to the canvas clicking on the raindrops better known now as simulated worlds or planets, and give them a fill. Once you have finished filling the ones you would like on the Krita canvas, go back to the color picker, choosing the next color you would like. Remember, you are creating this outer space. Your planets or worlds can be the color you want. Once this is done in Krita, it is time to add some stars. For this, we will use a brush tip that comes with Krita. So make sure you are on the brush tool in the Krita toolbox. Then go to the edit brush. When the edit brush window appears, 
click on predefined and go to the brush that looks like a star but is called fairy dust. You can give a click on the preview scratch pad if you like and or adjust the crit size but I feel this size to be a good one for this example. Once this is done in Krita, off click from the window to return to the canvas. Then go back to the color picker in order to choose a color for the fairy dust now known as our stars. It is up to you what color you your stars are as well as if they will be the same color for for our example we will keep our Krita star colors the same. Once you have chosen your Krita star color go to the canvas placing your stars where you would like them and as many as you would like. Once this is done in Krita go back to edit brush and click auto and then off click to turn to the canvas. If for some reason you missed a couple of planets as we did go back to the Krita toolbox click on the fill tool then go to the color picker choosing the color for the planets to be filled. Before we go on I would like to point out if I did not want a crit border I would have used the color black while placing the rectangular box as I stated before. Once this is done in Krita it is time to decide what color the space will be surrounding our planets. Once again, a lot could be done here, but I will stay with the basics. While still being on the Krita Fill tool, go to the color picker, choosing the color you desire, ours being black, and then to the canvas inside the rectangular, click an empty space in order to fill the area. If you use a border to simulate looking out a window as we did, go back to the critic color picker, choose the same color, go back to the canvas, clicking outside the rectangle. If there are if there is still a line, click on the line in a couple of different areas until it is no longer visible. Then if you would like you can add some text as we did on our critic canvas. But if you do afterwards merge your vector layer to the paint layer and then you can export it as a PNG. I hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion and if so then why not give this video a like and while you're at it why not become a subscriber and ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean ladies and gentlemen I mean after all it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.